Now, uh, the seventh step of the manual is uh, regard, regards um, counter shaft. Because now we have been uh, inspecting all, everything and now we're starting the reassembly of the, of the gearbox. Uh, it says that uh, if necessary we replace the counter gear front bearing, which is this one. The one with a... Um, which is this bearing. To diagnose bearings. Well, this is a... Well, like an empirical procedure. You have to fill it with your, with your finger if you notice any grinding uh, vibrations in your in your hand it seems like a very ambiguous process very well, doubtful but it's not it actually works and you uh, you will feel the grinding if the if the bearing is worn out the way i'm assembling this is uh, the lettering on the the markings on the bearing are also are always towards the outside so when you say Koyo, when you read Koyo Japan, you will insert it towards the outside of the of the part. Also, the race, I'm placing the race towards the outside, like so. Because uh, when pressing the, the bearing in, you will have to hold in here, or apply pressure on the center of the bearing not to damage the the outside you will always apply the pressure on the center you after you insert the race with the letters towards the outside press the bearing in with the the seal on the the outer ring towards the outside of the of the gearbox and the letters showing on the outside so let's Press this in. When placing the bearing, you first place the ring with the lettering towards the the down part of the of the shaft. Then you place the lettering on the the bearing is. The race is inserted. This lettering starts towards the top, and you insert the race. And then you press the bearing on, like so, in this position. Then the bolt will go in the middle. So press it in and bolt the the bolt in there. So. Now we have to uh, torque this up. This is uh, this bolt is uh, 27 foot pound, so we get our our uh, torque wrench and uh, let's get the adapter here. Regulate our torque wrench for 27 27 foot pound, so. 27 foot pound So uh, I've uh, reassembled I'm now finishing up the reassembly of the counter shaft and um, What I did was I used the bearing puller to uh, to press in this bearing here, you see the um, the black uh, holding uh, holding ring on the outside of the bearing and the bolt, and uh, then you torque it with the uh, with the torque wrench like I showed you. Now, the other side, the other side we have. Um, We have the center bearing. I don't know if this is filming or not. 
Okay, we have the center bearing, which goes like this. Then you have a small gear, which goes like this. Then you have a large uh, gear, place the gear towards the top end of the shaft. And then you have another bearing, which you will have a ring. The ring is with the letters towards the bottom, so insert it with the letters, the engravings towards the bottom. Then you have the bearing itself with a race. The race is inserted like this towards the top. The letters, the engravings are towards the top also. So you have to insert the bearing like so and press it in. I will be using the bearing puller since I do not have a press. I use the bearing puller turned upside down to, uh, to press this in. Then in the end, after this, is, this bearing is pressed, you uh, will have, a, you have to insert a ring, a holding um, a snap ring. Since this snap ring was ruined when I took the when I took it apart, it's a bit a little bit uh, oval now. I'll be buying a new one and uh, replacing this this uh, snap ring. Another important important thing that may confuse you when you are reassembling: this middle bearing is loose. You do not have any rings or anything like that. It's really loose, so. Only in the after it is assembled, maybe the I think the um, gearbox walls will hold this in place. So no worries here. You're not missing any part if this is loose. 